Is it true that uh, the first asylum seekers that might be on the first flights are going to begin to be detained this week? Look, we, we are not going to be uh, delaying. We are pressing ahead full square. Uh, we have um, uh, a number of 150 uh, judges uh, in place ready to uh, consider uh, these uh, issues. Seriously? Just listen to that again. Uh, we have um, uh, a number of 150 uh, judges uh, in place ready to uh, consider uh, these uh, issues. This is now getting ridiculous. That was Pension Secretary Mel Stry proudly boasting the government has just magicked up 150 judges to help it implement its morally bankrupt law-breaking Rwanda scheme. And it's not the first time the government has made this boast in the past week. To deal with any legal cases quickly and decisively, the judiciary have made available 25 courtrooms and identified 150 judges who could provide over 5,000 sitting days. Why are UK news shows not pointing out to the Prime Minister and government ministers making this boast? that we have a backlog in Crown Court cases which has now reached a record high of almost 70,000. Just think about that. Decades of underfunding and cuts have left us with a justice system which is failing both victims and defendants, with thousands of cases outstanding for more than two years. And we've been told time and time again there just aren't enough judges to cover the staggering backlog of cases. We've got rape and serious sexual offence trials which have been delayed for years. And the human cost for victims of those crimes, as well as innocent defendants, is beyond financial measure. And now seemingly from nowhere, to enable the government to implement its law-breaking Rwanda scheme, we're told this. Uh, we have um, uh, a number of 150 uh, judges uh, in place ready to uh, consider uh, these uh, issues. It's just incomprehensible and it just gets worse. Campaigners have accused the government of what they're calling a betrayal of renters for watering down a pledge made by the Housing Secretary Michael Gove to ban no-fault evictions before the next election. Now, the proposals are part of the Renters' Reform Bill, which MPs have been voting on tonight. Ministers now say any ban must wait for a review of the legal system's ability to hear cases related to the evictions. England's 11 million tenants were promised an end to these Section 21 notices back in 2019. But since then, almost a million tenants have been evicted under the process. And the excuse now offered up by the government for an indefinite delay to the end of no-fault evictions is that a report has to be commissioned by the Ministry of Justice to find out whether the courts can cope with the volume of expected cases if Section 21 is abolished. How do we reconcile that excuse with this? To deal with any legal cases quickly and decisively, the judiciary have made available 25 courtrooms and identified 150 judges who could provide over 5,000 sitting days. So when it comes to protecting renters who are facing the loss of their homes, we have to have an indefinite delay to review whether the court system can cope with the expected volume of cases. But when it comes to implementing the government's morally bankrupt law-breaking Rwanda scheme, there's absolutely no problem. The government can suddenly magic up 25 courtrooms, 150 judges and 5,000 sitting days. Why hasn't the government been able to magic up 150 judges for the record backlog of almost 70,000 Crown Court cases? Because it now seems that when the will is there on the part of the government, anything is possible. UK news shows should be crucifying government ministers with this. How hard can it be?